Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com and the chief official White House photographer has been chosen for the Biden administration and it is, it's, it's not me. And yes, I am slightly jealous of the fact that it's not me, but who is it? It's a photographer by the name of Adam Schultz. Now, Adam has been around the Biden campaign since I believe 2019 is when he became the official Biden campaign photographer. And before that, he worked in the Clinton campaign as a photographer there and has been interested in, in political photography for a while. DP Review has a very good article with him. It is linked down below. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about Adam, how he got the job, what he shoots with, what I'm hoping to see come out out of the official White House photographer for the next four years. So it's an interesting story how he got the job and DP Review has that story, but he talks about how he was on the campaign trail with Biden and Biden was looking at some of the photos on his laptop and said, hey, can I get some of those uh, put on my phone? And he helped him do that. And from that point on, it's basically it. Now that's the thing. I I'm, I'm jealous, yes, because here are my all access Bernie passes. I was certainly hoping that maybe it would have been Bernie selected and that I might've had an opportunity to be be the president's photographer, because that would be fantastic, but it wasn't to be this time around, and I will try again whenever I get that opportunity to, to try again. But this is a really amazing thing for Adam. How many president's photographers have there been? Not a ton. Pete Souza changed the game for eight years with all access under Obama. He got fantastic results. The last four years, we've had Sheila Craighead, who was in there, which we believe had access, but we didn't see a lot of the photos come out. But maybe after this uh, transition, we will get to see the photos because whatever she was photographing becomes the record. It becomes a record. You can't delete any of the photos. So maybe we will get access to that to see the photos that she was capturing over the last four years. But the big question is, what does Adam shoot with? Well, you can see in this picture that's on DP Review, he is shooting with three bodies that don't look to, they don't have grips on them. What bodies are they? They are Sony A92s. On one of the cameras, he has an 8514 Sony. On another, he has a 16 to 35 2.8. And then on the other, he has a 100 to 400 millimeter, which personally would not be my first choice of a lens to have out on the campaign trail, but he runs around with those three bodies. Now, if it was me, I would definitely have grips on them just so that you could get extra battery power, um, but he is shooting Sony. He used to shoot Canon 5D Mark IVs, and Sheila, also in the White House currently, is shooting with the A9s as well. So Sony has made major inroads in the newspaper photography world and now with another official White House photographer going to use Sony, that is a big deal for them. Over here we can check out Adam's Instagram. Uh, what, what's insane about it is it probably started off around 10 or 11,000 subscribers, followers today and now it's 24,000 and two and now it's 24,400. It just keeps going up and up and up. Pete Souza did go ahead and congratulate him and say if he has any questions, he will be more than happy to answer them. But you can go follow Adam on Instagram. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the official Instagram that he keeps for the White House photography gig or if he starts another one from scratch, I'm not sure. But he also has a Flickr page which you can go take a look at and see photos from the campaign trail uh, when he was out there with uh, Joe Biden. The big question for me is, will he have all access like Pete had access for Barack Obama to get everything? Will he be in the room for everything or will he not have that access? Because if you don't have that access, you won't be getting the same type of images or similar type of historic images that Pete was able to capture. This is amazing for Adam. I wish him tremendous amount of success as the official White House photographer. He's gonna have four years, hopefully, four years of, of documenting just, just seeing things that other photographers will never get the opportunity to see. 
He is the man. He gets to build the staff of photographers. He gets to build the people that work under him, that work as the vice presidential photographer and other types of photographers in the administration. And that is an unbelievable uh, privilege that he gets to undertake. So I hope he gets all access. I'm looking forward to see what he gets. Check out the links down below so you can see some of the articles. If you Google it, you Google his name, you're gonna start to find it out there now more than it was out there before. And I will reiterate once again, I am absolutely jealous. I would love to have been in that position to get that gig, to be the one that gets to take on that responsibility of documenting history for the American people. But that, that goes to Adam, so we applaud him for for doing it, for, for doing whatever he needed to do to be in the right place, to get the gig. He hung around, he was there uh, eight years ago hoping to get some of those gigs. He worked his way there, right place, right time, right work, did what he needed to do. So big ups to him, congratulations. If you wanna follow him, all the links are down below. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.